think mostly just the flexibility and the relationships you can build between different year groups and teachers and the different units you find during health. I chose to come to the UTC because of the sports facilities and the level of teaching. Uh, it, it stood out to me because I've always played sport and I've always been into sport. Opportunities available for, um, for, well, for computer science and for extracurricular activities like robotics um, and they really interest me so I thought I'd um, sign up and try and get involved in those which I have done over the past few years and they're just really great opportunities to kind of get involved with that other schools don't typically have. Being able to talk to a range of different people with being expo exposed to so many different things like different employers and uh, teachers and different people from around Sheffield and South Yorkshire. All sorts of things like we went on a school trip last year doing rock climbing as part of a GCCP course. Uh, we've been to the university a couple of times to have a look around. So it's just things like that that just uh, you didn't realise you could get these opportunities at school. There's, there's always been a football team, so that's always helped because I've always played football. Um, so there's always been extra training, so that's always helped. Uh, I enjoy the, the teaching because it's always at a high standard uh, and you know you're always going to have help if you need it. Um, there's great support as well if you need it and I enjoy the subjects that I'm currently studying because the teachers are great and the subjects are really interesting. I think the key thing is for me is that it's more like a college um, than it ever has been a school in that you get a lot more freedom and as long as you kind of put the work in you'll get a lot more freedom and flexibility with your teachers to kind of you know just explore what you actually want to do and what you want to achieve with UTC. Obviously you have to do GCSEs and get those grades but beyond that you can basically do whatever you want and you will get support from the teachers that are there sort of in whatever you actually want to do. At the minute uh, probably anatomy and physiology, just because you learn all about the body and how it works. I think just because of the range of units we you, we see and use, you find out different parts about health and social care that you didn't know were there before. So unit one, we look at building positive relationships and different things we can do to be able to build a positive relationship with the service user, whether that be in making reasonable adjustments so that we can have effective communication to just being able to talk to a patient. Great course because you find out different parts about health and social care that you didn't know before and it covers that many units you can find the part in health and social care that you love and want to study further. I enjoy all the courses in Spanish because it's quite interesting like you learn about uh, in sport, we've just done sports coaching, so we did a few practical sessions where we led coaching sessions and went to plan it. Uh, so for me, that was planning football sessions, so we ran a football session with our class in year 12. Um, the thing I enjoy most about my specialism is that it's not all exam-based. Like, um, it's a mix of coursework and exams. So with other subjects, there's, all, there's a lot of pressure on one exam at the end of the year. Whereas with sport, um, you've got coursework and then you've got a couple of exam units in there as well. But it's a nice mix and it gives you a bit of control over what you're going to get at the end of year 13. I mostly enjoy sort of developing different programmes and we do work with the, we have worked with employees in the past to sort of develop different things to, sign, to send off and work with employees to get feedback and kind of build things for people. Um, for example, we did do some web website development in the past for Sheffield City Council, I believe it was. Um, and then in computer science at A level, you do developing a program over, I think it's the course of a year for a specific client that you choose yourself and you have to develop what you want to choose by yourself. And that was a really good opportunity, I think, that kind of really gets you ready for developing stuff for a proper sort of company later on in life. I want to go into radiology and oncology um, at university, so working with cancer patients and being able to have a relationship with a service user. When I'm finished in year 13, I want to go to university to study sports journalism um, and hopefully go into a career within sports journalism. Uh, the, the dream would be reporting on Sheffield Wednesday games for someone like the Star or, or the club themselves, but just any sort of football journalism is what I want to do. Um, so I think a degree apprenticeship is probably the most suitable avenue for me to like go down. Um, I think having a job while getting my degree and earning a bit of money and sort of getting my independence while being treated like a professional 
is uh, kind of what I'd like to get into at that point. Definitely has prepared me for, for, for my future career just because it will enable me to be able to have a relationship with the service user and get to know them and make sure they understand everything, that sort of thing. Well, I mean, at the minute, um, there's a apprenticeship, not an apprenticeship, a work experience um, opportunity with Sheffield Hallam, where you can get specific NHS work experience, which I think will be really cool to be able to know for definite that that's the sort of thing you want to go into. It supports my next steps because I want to do, I need sport at level three to be able to go to the university course I want to do. Um, so yeah, I, I really need it to be able to go to university. The unit, I think it's eight and nine in IT. Um, they are the software development units where you develop software for a client. And obviously I want, I want to go into software development later on in life. That's kind of my future. Um, and I think that kind of really got me ready for sort of, you know, that you know that you have to develop a piece of software, but you don't know what actually surrounds that to prepare that from being actually developed. It's kind of, there's a lot, it's a lot more in depth than you first imagine. But to have that knowledge there before you go into like a workplace, I think is really ideal. So you sort of understand where you're at, where you're going to end up and what extra work you have to put in to get to that point.